The emergency room at Forward Operating Base Sharana is buzzing as this medical staff prepares for a medevac. They've been told to expect five patients. They don't know what injuries to expect, so they prepare for the worst. They told me is that you have five urgent patients coming in, all U.S. from IED blast. Grabbed all the members of the team, told them we got five U.S. casualties. All of them are urgent, expect the worst. Only two of the five patients, both U.S. service members, arrive at the FST's critical care center. Medical personnel are told one of the injured, an interpreter, died on the scene from his wounds. Two other U.S. service members will be brought later as their wounds were the least serious. Well, we basically initiate uh, AC or ATLS, which is uh, advanced, advanced Trauma Life Support. And uh, basically we're looking for uh, injuries that could kill them immediately. Medics work quickly to assess the patients, stripping them of clothes that could cover injuries. As unlucky as these two young men are to have been blown up, they are lucky their injuries are minimal. Specialist Timothy Black, one of the responding medics, treated the patient on bed two. It really boiled down to uh, a uh, injury to his right knee. It wasn't anything uh, very severe, but uh, what we're dealing with is kind of the shock and trauma that comes with the fact that, you know, here's a young man that realizes he's a young man with a wife and, and uh, a family back home, and he just realized, hey, I, I was just blown up. I was in a vehicle that blew up. Two traumatic brain injuries, scrapes and bruises, a knee with ligament damage and shock are the only injuries the medics will see on this night. It's a good night at the FST, if there is such a thing. No blood, no surgery, and everyone lived to see tomorrow. I can't help but feel that if we're doing our job well, and they know we're doing our job well, they know that somewhere back here so they're going to get taken care of and we're going to save their lives and we're going to let them, we're going to send them back home to their loved ones yeah. okay we're going to lift lift each member of this team is prepared for the worst and hopes for the best tonight that's what they got air force staff sergeant alana ingram forward operating base sharana afghanistan